Linux kernel 6.12. Let's talk about it. First up is Preempt RT. Preempt RT is a set of patches for the Linux kernel that makes it suitable for real time computing. And in 6.12, Preempt RT is going to be baked in and updated with the kernel, so no need to install it separately anymore. And now with Preempt RT shipping with the Linux kernel, it can improve a couple of things. If you're running virtual machines or containers, it could help with real time applications like VoIP and video streaming. And if you're doing video game emulation, it could possibly help with some input lag issues. Next up is Sked EXT. And Sked EXT is a new class that allows developers to fine tune how those CPU resources are allocated. This could also help the everyday Linux user. If you have a home lab and you wanna allocate different resources, to different applications, you can do that. Or if you game on Linux, you can maybe have more control over what resources go to that game that you're running versus other applications like Discord or OBS. 6.12 is also bringing more hardware compatibility with gaming handhelds and the Raspberry Pi 5. There's now built-in support for devices like the GameForce Ace and improved drivers for other devices like the One X Player and the Aya Neo. And initial support for the Raspberry Pi 5 is also included. Now for XFS file system enhancements. XFS is a high performance file system designed for handling large amounts of data. 6.12 allows XFS to support block sizes larger than a standard size and introduces new commands, which are system calls to help manage files more efficiently. So I think this would be the biggest win for home labbers, especially NAS owners. So next up is user space address masking. I had no idea what that was either. Address masking is a security feature that hides memory addresses from malicious programs. This helps protect sensitive data that's stored in memory. And what changed in 6.12 is a method that they're using for that address masking. They basically improved it and now Linux is more secure. Next up, it's QR codes for kernel panic troubleshooting. A kernel panic is a system error that just means the kernel stopped working. Now before 6.12, you had to sift through logs like a caveman to figure out what went wrong. You just scan a QR code and it'll tell you the error details right away. Now I'm normally not that hype about kernel updates. I don't think many people are. No shade at Linus, but I think he would agree. Kernel updates are supposed to be boring. You know, they're supposed to fix bugs, improve stability, things like that. And I've got to say 6.12 is one of the sexier kernel patches that I've read in a while. One for me was adding all of that Linux gaming handheld support and also the Raspberry Pi 5 support. But let me know in the comments if I'm getting too excited or is this just a normal run of the mill kernel update. But before you go, check out this video I made when I fully converted over to Linux. Peace.